Today we have a very special guest, Bonnie Root. She is a Hollywood actress. She's working on a short film right now that is related directly to the topic of a woman's experience in Jehovah's Witnesses. How are you doing, Bonnie? Welcome to Witness Underground. I'm good. Thank you for having me. Before we get into your current script that you're working on that's very on topic of being a Jehovah's Witness, how does life in Hollywood work for an actress? And, and how, <laughs> how does- well, <laughs> it's, it's very glamorized, and I don't think many people understand, it, yeah. including me. If you know a complicated ex Jehovah Witness childhood, <laughs> uh, it unfortunately, was, yeah, yes. <laughs> it was fragmented, and a lot of my current work is about surviving a lot of those situations. We'll, you know, maybe get into this later, but like, I wasn't completely aware of some of the leftover like CPTSD and Mm -hmm. hypervigilant stuff that I had and how it occurred to people. I had a funny mannerism where if a director was talking to me and giving me feedback and it was a high pressure situation, I would kind of have like an appearance where my gaze would look like I almost had like a dissociative moment or something. It's called acting. It's make-believe. I feel... I started out in Portland, Oregon when I was in my late teens. I had, you know, studied drama in high school a little bit, but I'm basically could be categorized as at risk youth or, you know, disadvantaged youth or something. And I'm suddenly getting to study with someone who wrote, you know, the acting curriculum at NYFA or is on the, you know, board of admissions at Juilliard or NYU and is, you know, teaching at Tisch. And for someone in my position, I got to get a really good taste of that level of education and exposure. And that really, really changed my life. Uh, Action. You drugged me. You tortured me. You humiliated me. You degraded me. It was just for the movie. You're not the first scumbag director I've worked for. The worst, but not the first. We originally connected because you were the key actress in a film that played at the Genre Blast Film Festival, and I'm wearing my Genre Blast uh, yes. t-shirt right now. Um, do, what's the title of that film? Because I met the director there. <laughs> it's the most difficult film to search of all time because it's called <laughs> The Movie. The Movie, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. The movie, that, The Movie. Yes, and that's very Michael Mandel, the director and writer. Yes, he's very irreverent and he doesn't care if it's difficult to search (laughs) because it's worth it if you find it. That film, like I think about it regularly, it was shocking and difficult. And it's sort of like someone who's trapped and realizes it from the moment and it gets worse and worse and worse. But I was impressed by that film and it has some shocking bits to it. It's about this creepy delivery guy who tortures this washed up actress in her own home. It has surprisingly reflected my life to some degree. Mandel and I met, Michael Mandel and I met in a screenwriting class, you know, where everybody gets up and, you know, acts out the dialogue and you kind of get to see your script, you know, in motion. He came up with this idea and then we started talking about it a lot. And then the Me Too movement started and then there were just, you know, so many awful stories about the industry and that led to us, you know, talking about kind of in general, the public treatment of women and not just directors or writers or producers on set or the casting couch or any of that, but like the aftermath of that as well. The tricky landscape of all the double standards, you know, it's like, oh, if you get work done, you're gross, you know, and if you don't get work done, you're gross, you know, or what all of those kind of conundrums. It's only compelling if it's real. It's got to look real, Janet. It's called acting. It's make-believe. I am shaking the head of Janet Gillespie. Oh, my God. Uh, You're shooting this POV? As a matter of fact, I am. That way I won't ruin myself on camera. Genius, right? I thought it through, Janice. We came up with this idea that it was something doable on our own. Hence, you know, the one location, two-hander kind of set up. And we wanted the audience kind of go through this experience of the gaslighting and the slow, why is this happening? But I'm going along with it and I'm trying to work around it. I'm trying not to get into trouble. Uh, That 
whole scenario um, without giving too much away about the movie. Everyone go check out the movie, the movie, if you can find it. Yeah. It's great. Follow Bonnie Roots Projects, Diary of Heather Keating. Go watch Sissy and all the great work that she's putting together. I'm so excited to have been able to interview her, have a developing friendship, and I'm so excited for you to all follow her work as well. It's been an absolute pleasure. If you like this kind of content, consider liking, commenting, and subscribing on this video and joining on our new YouTube membership or on our Patreon. That helps keep these kinds of interviews coming and you'll get access to not only the full interview, but also the art offer from each guest, which is a new thing we're doing each month, as well as a live stream live call every month for members. So thank you so much. We'll see you next time.